Whatever kind of night you're having, start it off right with Drizzly, the go-to app for drink delivery. Whether you're mixing up a bullet bourbon old-fashioned for a cozy night in, or kettle one Bloody Mary bar for a birthday brunch, you can get the perfect beer, wine, and spirits for any occasion delivered with Drizzly. So what's it gonna be? Download the Drizzly app or go to drizzly.com. That's D-R-I-Z-L-Y dot com to choose your drinks today. Must be 21 plus, not available in all locations. Hey guys, welcome back to the Potted Together podcast. I'm Nicole and I'm joined by my co-hosts, Adam and Becca. Hello. Hello. Why do I feel the need to sing the intro every time I lead? Like I it like it needs to be sung. Yeah, just I mean head. just go with it. Okay. Okay. Well, folks, today we are going to be in episode two of our spooky plants that kill people. Ooh. And guys, <laughs> my my plant is a serial killer. Oh, <gasps> it's fitting. It's is that very fitting. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Yeah, we got some murders going on. Okay. Okay. But first we have to we have to do a little ketchup and mustard. So how was your week, Adam? What'd you do? Um, you know, the week's been good. I didn't do much. There was last night there was like this there's this bar in town, this brewery in town that has mm-hmm. like this whole like park area that they built outside. Ooh. And they were showing a Harry Potter movie last night. So it was like Potter oh. in the park and it was really cute. So it was fun to I went and did that. Yeah. Other than that, like it was a pretty uneventful week. This weekend I spent some time like doing some little crafties for a Halloween party. Ooh. Like I went and bought like tea towel flower sack tea towels uh-huh. and dipped them in Mod Podge water. And then Are you dra- mean ghosts? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I draped them over like a balloon and making little <gasps> ghosts that'll stand up. Oh cool. fun. It was cute. That's- it was fun. That's but fun. I left him at my friend Jessica's house because that's where we're having the Halloween party. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm sure I'll show you how they turned out eventually. But I think they're going to be cute. I just did a I Halloween think... DIY too. Did you? Did What'd you? you do? I just got like a foam ball and I put it on my. I have like some obelisks, uh, obelisks from like springtime. You know what I mean? You put them in big mm-hmm. planters, and I yeah. put the foam ball on top of it. And then I put a sheet over it, and it looks like a ghost. Oh, do you have it outside? I'm going to, and they're cute, like little floral sheets. <laughs> oh, that's oh, fun. Oh, that is that's cute. Yeah, we did that last year, but me and my mom went to go to Michael's to get like a styrofoam ball, and the styrofoam balls were like twenty bucks, and we're like, wait, this is supposed to be a cheap. DIY Dollar Tree kind of craft and we couldn't find them so we took like a garbage bag and stuffed it with like grocery shopping bags and like tried to form a ball it was a little tragic but it it worked it was cute oh that's fun cute yeah so yeah just just a little DIY but okay so here in the US we had a test of our national alert system it happened, oh, you're going to bring it up, huh? It happened yesterday, right? That was yesterday? It was yesterday. Yeah. Two minutes early. Uh, thank Two you. Two minutes early. Two Sus. minutes early. Oh, my gosh. But did Sus. you guys read... So, sorry. Not, I'm not going to dive like full into conspiracy theory politics, but have you been reading the conspiracy theories about this? That well, it was used to activate some sort of zombie thing inside of all of us from the vaccines? Like, this is yeah. QAnon shit. And I'm this like, cute on shit. I saw a story about it and I was like, this, this can't be real. People can't actually think this, but there's yeah. so many people who actually think that. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. But I, okay. I saw that, but then I saw another one that was like something about the government controlling our brain waves some yeah. way and like probably similar to, to that one. But it's just like, 
what are you talking about? But then, like, in the very, very back of my head, I'm like, okay, I can see the U.S. government doing some shit like that. <laughs> <I'm back, laughs> yeah, black, some black mirror shit. But my yeah. thing is, your cell phones, Meta is controlling you more than any yeah. government ever could. Yeah, for sure. Like, literally, oh. the internet is controlling you. Yeah, yeah. Zuckerberg's got us on lock. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I don't know. Um, and was, every other app you use, for that matter. I was baffled, but I saw like a TikTok where someone's like, "Oh, if, if you were a person who tried to like shut off your phone so you didn't get the alert and turn into a zombie, that's why they did it two minutes early and all that <laughs> stuff." And I was like, uh. "Yes, yes." <laughs> oh, oh my gosh! And I saw so, some funny ones too. What do those people like say when? the conspiracy theory ends up not being real like we're not zombies it's, so like it, what do they say to themselves then okay oh, it just gets disregarded yeah we don't because talk about it. because do you remember that time when that one person slid into my <laughs> dms and sent me all of this QAnon crap that was a fun time yes. me too uh, okay so none of that stuff came true because right. i'm pretty sure they said that donald trump was going to be assassinated and that's what's going to start off the whole thing yeah he's and I very was like, alive and he's going to have two terms of his presidency and all that stuff and i think that's probably why a lot of the people are like oh it's he's still president we know in our hearts donald trump save us <laughs> anyway uh <laughs> i was like i i kind of want to like unblock that person and be like hey buddy um <laughs> care to talk about it what you thinking about now? Because like none yeah. of that, none of that came true. Oh, anyway. we should we should unblock them and just have a have a conversation. You know, <laughs> I don't oh, know. But, anyway. but that's what it is. It's it's disregarded after that. That's what it is. It's like, oh, I was wrong, but we don't have to talk about that because there's all this other stuff. You know. Yeah. But yeah, I didn't want to. I don't want to like shimmy down the hole into like the insane politics but i just thought that was a little baffling you yeah, know but that's funny. that's right up there because sometimes like i don't know some i think tiktok <laughs> changes what it shows you given the time of day that you're on it have you guys noticed this uh yeah sometimes mm -hmm. i get some weird mm -hmm. shit at night when i'm like i get not yes. protected like meaning not protected and it's like i'm just not expecting it but like I, w at one point, I was in Washington, D.C. for that event, and then it was weird because they're, like, three hours ahead, so I, like, wasn't falling asleep until, like, three in the morning, so I was, like, laying in bed on TikTok. Mm -hmm. I was getting flat earth stuff constantly. Really? Like, people really, like, videos of, like, boats <laughs> bumping into, like, the ice wall barrier that's supposedly keeping all the water on the planet. That's flat. Oh, God. I was like, it's Truman <laughs> Show shit. I know. <laughs> but, like, sometimes I'm like, okay, there was a moment. There wasn't a moment that I was believing that the Earth was flat, but there was a moment where I was like, I could. Like, I could possibly believe some of this stuff. Mm -hmm. And, like... It, I, f I feel like the algorithm was like, okay. And now I can kind of see, I mean, I was brainwashed into a cult of Christianity. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like I could see how people can get like a little brainwashed, you know, into this. Oh, like the I earth is easily, flat. I can easily see. I don't think cults... the earth is flat. Just okay, FYI. good. <laughs> I, I mean, I can see how, how that can happen. And Jay watches a lot of history channel science channel a lot of the stuff on there is pretty wild too if i'm being honest what did jay think about the aliens in mexico did we already talk about that the aliens in mexico oh he's pissed because <laughs> now they're talking about it he, the the government's had alien info and we've had aliens for so long and like why now is his question right mm, anyway valid. Valid, yeah. But the whole two minutes early thing, really quick, right? Well, I was at a gas station. I was get I was getting my one point two billion dollar winning lottery ticket, so I thought. Girl, I and bought I, lottery ticket too. Yeah, you gotta. You gotta do it. <laughs> it's up to one point four now. I bought, you guys. <laughs> I bought I this is the first time. So Steve and I Oh, that's what happened this week. Sorry. I don't keep keep put a pin in your thought because I'm taking back there. over. Okay. Go ahead. 
we were at Walmart and I, I had just heard how big the lottery was and I was like, should we buy a ticket? And there was like a machine <laughs> right there. And then yeah. we literally stood in front of the machine for like five minutes. And we're like, what do we do? Like, how does yeah. this work? And then we were Googling, like, do I need a power play? Like, do I need to add power play? Cause I've never bought a lottery ticket anyway. So I bought like 10 lines of the quick pick. Okay. Not even a single number matched. And it's Steve was like, scam. Steve was like, I feel like, that's harder to do and we should probably win something for not matching any numbers and i was like yeah probably should (laughs) out of 10 lines not one number in the entire 50 numbers matched at all okay so i have the illinois lottery app so every state has an app i think that you could just play the lottery on there Mm -hmm. because i got real lazy because this happened this happened a few times my mom's like you got to go out and buy a lottery ticket and i was like i cannot be bothered you can buy one on the app on the app yeah oh fuck you should not have told me that i'm sorry it might be different (laughs) in arizona so maybe i was already living my dream life with when i bought that ticket like we spent the entire afternoon talking about what we would do immediately (laughs) (laughs) oh okay so yeah you could buy them on the app so that's what i typically do but i decided to go to the gas station to get my ticket yesterday and same thing i walked in and i was like I want to buy a lottery ticket. And she's like, okay, for which drawing? And I was like, the Powerball. And she's like, do you want one line or how many lines do you want? And I was like, is this a drug deal? Like what's happening here? I don't understand. (laughs) And I was like, I guess just one. And it was like two bucks, right? But then it said like no power play. So I guess that's extra. I don't care. Listen, if you, if someone wins this Powerball $1.4 billion, right? It's, you're gonna you could get a take home was like 480 a million 480 million or something 480 million say you're gonna get half that by the time you pay taxes 250 ish million dollars i think the 480 was after taxes was it really because i think they about half goes to taxes well yeah but the payout if you have an option of taking some every year Uh, and then a one-time payout and i think the one-time payout was the 480 something and then half goes to taxes yeah and then half goes to taxes yeah so your dream the whole day that you made those plans with that money cut those dreams in half because you're not you're not getting all that money anyway like who's what are you doing with that money like what are you doing with who can spend that much money in a lifetime nobody right i mean there is a reality show about like people who've won the lottery and wasted much? all of their money. Yeah, like m- millions. Oh, I mean, the first thing I would probably do is obviously pay off all debt and and take care of my family. But then I'd invest in property, and I, you would never have to like you would just be making money on your money. Yeah, like it'd just be a cure world hunger. Maybe I'll do that too. You know, but like. I don't, I don't, I don't want a big house. That's what I, that's what I came down to. Like, Me I don't, I, I want a nice house. Like I want one that's like, has enough space for us. That has like storage, but I don't need to live in a mansion because I don't want to no, clean. Me I don't want to clean that house. Well, you could hire a cleaning crew. Well, true. But then I'm, I feel like I just get like really frugal Lonely? and, oh, and probably recluse because I would not trust anyone because I would be like, oh, yes. you don't want to be my friend. You only want my to be my friend because of this. That's what I told Jay. I was like, we wouldn't have any real friends, though. You realize this. And he's like, we wouldn't need any real friends. And I was like, oh, true. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> I got you, babe. <laughs> I got you, babe. I've heard that a lot of lottery winners end up going broke in the end, actually, because they just don't yeah. use it correctly. Yeah, well, yeah, people got to hire a lawyer and a financial advisor. Like, those are the two first things you should do, Mm -hmm. probably, right? Yeah. But anyway, aside from all the lottery mumbo jumbo, I was walking back to the car at 1.18 p.m. And my phone screeches in my hand. I almost threw it because I wasn't expecting it and then I and then I got to the car and I see Jay looking at his watch and he's looking at the car and the car is going off and he's like they did it 2 minutes early <laughs> I was like we're all going to die <laughs> 
But then, you know, Mia was in school. So she texts us and she's like, everybody's phones went crazy. So I guess my brain's fried. I don't know what I should think. And I was like, <laughs> you know, she's making fun of it. And I was like, well, we'll see. We'll see. Yep. Was it we'll iPhone see. and Android? Anyway. Like every phone? I think so. Yeah. Every every radio system, because it was an emergency alert system. So it was like car radios, watches, like everything. Mm-hmm. TVs, I think. Yeah. It Which is creepy the- when you really think about it. Yeah. You know, it's like there's a movie coming out, you guys. And it is with what is her freaking name? <gasps> Oh no, what is her name? Is it Julia Roberts? Oh, I'm probably wrong. Anyway, it's about end of the world shit. And it's about like things happening, like strange things happening. And they're realizing that the world is like apocalyptic, like the world's ending. It looks really good. And I can't give you the name, can't give you the actors. So. <laughs> <laughs> good luck finding out what that also, movie is. Also, Nicole, you're like, it looks so good. <laughs> Everyone's going to die. The whole world is collapsing. There's meteors coming. It looks really fun. Can't well, wait to we see went it. Over this. I, I kind of like the world ending movies, but it does give me nightmares. But I also like the dystopian future stuff, too. Yeah. Can't do fantasy yet, but we're working on it. Okay. Anyway, we're, we're, halfway through, we're halfway through our catch up. So we got to push on the gas. Becca. Okay. All right. Becca, what's going on? What's happening? What you, is you went going to a on? Wedding. Let's do a- Oh, I went to a wedding. Yes, that's a fun update. It was one of Daniel's childhood friends. He was in our wedding, and he's a very sweet guy. His wife is a very sweet woman. And it was in Iowa, so it was our first trip slash, yeah, night away with Nora. And it Mm -hmm. was a shit show. Like, Oh, no. Did you take her to the wedding? No, it was a kid-friendly wedding, but I was just, I don't know if it would be loud, like if she was fussy, like I just didn't want to deal with it. So we got a hotel room for our mother-in-law at the same hotel we were staying at, and she came up and watched her while we were at the wedding, and then she got a night out too. Well, night with her granddaughter, which she probably thought was great. So yeah. Yeah. So why was it a shit show? Okay, so Daniel is... The okay, and see, I'm not even talking shit about him because he knows this is true. Everybody knows this about him. He is a procrastinator <laughs> to the the highest degree. I've never met someone who procrastinates as much as this man. And oh, it. I am also a procrastinator, but not to the point of self destruction. Okay, so he, <laughs> I was like, we should pack up like bef- like the night before, like at least a few things, so that we're not as stressed out. Oh, no, we'll just worry about it tomorrow. See, I should have just packed anyway oh. and just ignored him. Oh, instant yeah. anxiety in my in my mind. We needed to leave the house by 10 a.m., okay? We got up around like 7.30, 8, and... And you didn't pack anything yet? Correct. <laughs> oh, God. That okay. all is not well. Okay. <laughs> I'm not well. That's kind of how we operate, though. And it's never been a problem, but now we have a baby. And, like, the amount of shit you have to bring when you have a baby is insane. Oh, yeah. I was bringing bottles. I was bringing milk, pump parts, all of her clothes, all the extra stuff, burp cloths, diapers, like, everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and then our stuff. So it was a mess. We left at, like, 1030. So we were, like, pretty... Yeah, I know, Nora. It was frustrating. Um, Daniel packs his own... <laughs> he packs his own bag, though, right? Oh, yes. Okay. Because, you know, there's some guys that, like, don't even pack their own suitcase. And I'm like, mm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, I didn't have to pack his stuff. He packed his bag. He also packed the stuff for the dogs. And then we were bringing up a piece of furniture for his sister. So he packed all of that. So I was in charge of me, Nora, and, like, milk. So it was, it was split 50-50 pretty well. And that, that just sort of naturally happened. And I was like, wow, I have a competent partner. This is great. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, it was great. So, but yeah. So besides, It's like that sound bite that was like, in that moment, it's when she realized she has a competent partner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, like the opposite of, in that moment, she realized she fucked up. It's like the opposite. She chose she correctly. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. So that was the morning. And like as we're driving, because it was in Iowa, it was like four hours away. So as we're driving, I'm like getting a migraine, horrible migraine Ooh. by the end of the night. Like I was in so much pain. But I had. Oh, I, no. I know. Somebody gave me some medicine and that helped immensely. So it all in all, it was really fun. I just had a migraine for like most of the day until I took that medicine. So I don't know. I mm-hmm. But I get migraines. So, I mean, it's kind of normal for me, unfortunately. I'm kind of used to it. But, you know, yeah. it's OK. But, yeah, it was a really fun wedding and it was a great night away. Like Daniel had a lot of alcohol and fun and i was happy to be the dd because i just don't (laughs) we don't really drink like ever and i think it's because it was his friend's wedding he's like let's just have fun and i was just like yeah right i just don't i just i know i'm gonna feel like shit and i don't want to feel like shit because i have to take care of the baby so that's plus don't you have to like pump and dump pump and dump if you drink if you so there's like a new rule on this now. Like if you feel good enough to like feed your baby, then you can. Like basically if you can drive, you can feed your baby essentially. Okay. And then it, it'll it like leave your system within a couple of hours as well. So like if you just don't feed your baby, if you're drunk for like until it leaves your system, then apparently you can. That's the new guidelines. Okay. Yeah. But okay. double check with your doctors. Don't take my word for it. But yeah, that's what I've yeah. been seeing and reading. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's amazing what alcohol does to you after you get to a certain age. Oh my God, I know. I'm not going to share too many details, but he was hurting the next day. We'll say that. It was a rough day. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> the next day was rough for old Dan. <laughs> Yeah. Uh. but you know he had fun he was so goofy he's such a goofy drunk like it's so funny we were dancing and he's just like so goofy it was so Aww. funny so that's sweet <laughs> when you were telling the story about the procrastination because yesterday we needed to leave the house by like four forty-five, and we both knew that steve and i he got off work at like 2 30 okay mm-hmm. i got okay. off work mm-hmm. at four and i wanted to shower after i got off work so i'm showering like trying to get I'm like, I got out of the shower. It's like 4.40. Oh. And I'm like, no, and no. he's like still in his like PJs slash like whatever. <gasps> and I was like, um, are you going to be ready? And he was like, oh, and I, I mean, he does get really, really, really fast. But then I'm like, okay, but you're also getting ready while I'm also trying to get ready. So like, yeah, we're kind of making the same time, but now you're in my way constantly. And I'm like having to m- move around you. And you had mm-hmm. two hours out there on the couch. <laughs> Where you're just sitting. Yeah. 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 Anyway. You sound a little frustrated. (laughs) Constant. It's a constant. We love love Steve. We love a procrastinator. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, I couldn't do it. Nicole's not a procrastinator. (laughs) It'd be a problem. (laughs) I'm not a procrastinator. Neither is Jay. Jay is not a procrastinator either. Thank God sweet baby jesus in the sky see but like so nicole when you go on a vacation are you packing a week before or are you packing the night before well i'm not my mother my mother does pack a week before sometimes multiple weeks before that's insane to me um when people do that we were having the carpet shampooed this week and all the furniture was up off the floor five six days before they came I'm like, what's happening? It looks like poltergeist in here happened. <laughs> like, what is going on? So I'm packing like, it depends on the trip. If I'm going like on like a week, 10 day trip to like Puerto Rico per se, maybe it's like two or three days before. But if I'm just going to like San Diego with my three, my two friends, then it's like the day before. Okay. 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 But it's like a, like I don't have to wash my clothes to pack them like some people. And <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Do you pack dirty clothes? Then, or are you just always on top of your laundry? I'm always on top of my oh, laundry. Yeah, oh, is that relate. why you have to? Uh, that's why you have yeah, to do Yeah, because the stuff I want to pack is in the dirty clothes. But then the weird oh. thing is I have to put everything away before I can then pack. Like I put it all back and then I take it out to pack. Uh, oh that is weird see i thought you were washing clean clothes 
before you left. Like you had to wash them again. No. Okay. 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 No, I'm just not. I'm not. I'm not that on top of okay, life. Okay. Okay. All right. But yeah, I don't. It's not. It's not very long before I go on my trip that I pack. That's good. Hot tip. Okay. I'm getting my life in order a week before though. If oh, <laughs> see, I can't relate to that. If you bring clothes on a trip that you don't wear. The, you're, you might be tempted to put them back, but you should still wash them because of bed bugs. Oh. <gasps> oh, gosh. They're rampant. You know, <gasps> the thing is, though, they're going to be here in no time because Paris is a big city. And you know people are flying into New York. People Stop. are flying into Chicago. People are What's flying in into... Paris? Yeah, what? It's They're covered in bed bugs. <gasps> what? You guys didn't hear about this? I thought that's what you just said it. No. No, I'm just always aware of bed oh, bugs. Oh, it's like a it's like an epi- it's an epidemic in Paris right now. Oh shit. Like people like people are sh- doing videos on like the metro and there's literally just like bed bugs crawling on the seats of the metro. Oh uh-uh. no, absolutely not. Uh-uh. uh-uh. Yeah, so No. <laughs> I thought you guys knew Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <gasps> Well, give it a googs. Oh, I don't want to googs. I'd prefer not. Mm-hmm. Like, there's like the I think the travel the travel minister in Paris was like, please stop coming. Like, don't come yeah, here. Don't. Hell no. Now that I know that, cross Paris off my list. <laughs> That's horrifying. I mean, I think I think it'll be fine in no time. But like, those are gonna get to the U.S. Like, it's gonna hit us. Yeah. You absolutely. Know? Shit. No, I have. There was a couple months ago when like Dan and I were we had like bites on our body and we we're like what is this and we were checking for bed bugs like every day and we didn't have them i don't know what it was from it eventually went away but we were so anxious that we had bed bugs like <gasps> that is a nightmare it was probably it was probably the ticks <laughs> it is a nightmare for skaters <laughs> it was the ticks how are the ticks out there right now becca are they good you guys i haven't seen a tick in months it's been a long time my dogs haven't been getting them we got our lawn treated though good so you know yeah yeah we did do a little bit of that population population control yeah so yeah we've been good on that i haven't found any on the dogs or myself i haven't i've barely been outside so none on me (gasps) last thing i'll say i hired somebody to finish the greenhouse (gasps) oh you did oh my gosh yep When's it going to happen? He's coming on Monday to work on some stuff. So it's... Yes! Yeah, one of my mom friends in town, her husband is a, like, handyman contractor type of thing. Like, he was a general contractor, Mm -hmm. I think, and then they moved here, and now he started a handyman business. So I was like, oh, can does he do greenhouses? Like, can I get his number? And he came out, and he's like, yeah, I'll give you a great price since you're my wife's friend and so far so good i mean he hasn't come like to do anything yet but yeah that is so exciting i'm so excited yeah there's do you feel relieved i feel so relieved i was telling daniel like i will pay a lot of money to get this done because i'm just done like (laughs) i need to be able to use it before we yeah so anyway right Whenever that that's will be. That's good. Oh yeah. my god, this is. Oh, that's that is so good. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited for next yeah. week's update on that. Fun, fun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We are at the 30 minute mark. I will just say one quick thing because I didn't do my update, but I did go to a professional NFL game <gasps> on Sunday, and it was my first NFL game. Never been to a Bears game. Never been to any football game ever and it was an experience and i enjoyed it a lot more than i thought so yeah i will say that it was fun i have a little post on my insta if you want to go check it out but it was so fun and they lost but it was a very good game and i'm still shocked that that many people watch football <laughs> Me too. The seat to, like the whole way through <laughs> there there were some yes okay. there were some seats that were pretty empty through the whole thing and we all know that if that was a Taylor Swift concert, they would be full. Okay, moving on to the topic. Let's get into this. I'm still week. holding out hope that we will see her <laughs> oh, there. Oh, please. I'm still oh holding God. out hope. You know, I'm not giving up on it. I'm not giving up on that dream. Okay. All right. Well, when those tickets start to go on resale, maybe we could catch them before they're $18,000. Yeah. And then we could go. Yeah. <laughs> okay.
the mistletoe margarita, the Scrooge driver, the North Pole punch. The holidays call for cocktails, so get everything you'll need for them delivered with Drizzly, the go-to app for drink delivery. So what's it gonna be? Classics like Bullet Bourbon, Don Julio Reposado, or Kettle One, or maybe something new. Find it all on Drizzly where you can get beer, wine, and spirits delivered for any holiday festivity. Download the Drizzly app or go to drizzly.com. That's D-R-I-Z-L-Y.com today. Must be 21 plus, not available in all locations. At Granger, we're for the ones who specialize in saving the day and for the ones who've mastered the art of keeping business moving. We offer industrial-grade supplies for every industry with same-day pickup and next-day delivery on most orders, all backed by real people ready to help. So you can get the right answers and products right when you need them. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. All right, so guys, let's get into the creepy plants that kill people part of this episode. I will say that I had so much fun researching this. I felt like I was back in school. It was a lot of fun, and I'm excited. Okay, are we ready? I'm so ready. I'm so ready to hear your creepy, your creepy okay. plant stories. Creepy plants. Okay, so today we're going to talk about water hemlock. And specifically about someone who died from it back in 1992. But before we get into before we get into that one death, and I say one because this plant has killed multiple people. I gave you a little I gave you a little foreshadowing in the beginning of the episode. It's a serial killer plant. So mm-hmm. buckle up, folks, buckle up. But first, I want to talk about like water hemlock and like where it thrives, where it's located and all that stuff. Okay. Okay. So most of this info that I got is from the CDC website. So for reference purposes, the United States Department of Agriculture states that the this is the most violently toxic plant in North America, which is so cool that I picked this one. <laughs> <laughs> look how giddy you're getting over like it's the worst it'll it'll kill you it's the worst <laughs> okay it's the michael myers of plants okay so most states in north america as um except from alaska florida hawaii or mississippi which is so random like i could see alaska and hawaii being you know free from it but Florida and Mississippi, like Mississippi's in the (laughs) middle of the map. Like, I don't understand how to avoid Mississippi. I'm just convinced that nobody's found it there yet. Okay. Because it's literally in every other state, Mm. which is crazy. In Arizona, even? Yep. Oh, I'm shocked. Yeah. Be careful. Okay. Yeah. It's usually found in meadows and pastures and lives along streams. So, my guess is probably not in a vast majority of arizona since arizona is very desert but where there is a stream Mm. be careful um which is where it got its name water hemlock because it likes to grow on like the sides of streams and stuff but it could also be like found growing on the side of a street or like a highway to creeper it could get about one meter or three feet tall so pretty tall Mm -hmm. i guess but like when you think of it in the like looking at other plants like it's probably pretty hidden you know it blends in Mm. they have small little white flat flowers that grow on them and it grows in like an umbrella cluster so do you have you ever seen like dill yeah growing in the wild with the little yellow flowers it looks exactly like dill except the flowers on these are white which i'm pretty certain i've seen this plant like it in the wild it looks very it looks very akin to the plant that becca did last week yeah like how yes. the flowers grow yeah it's in the it's a perennial and it's in the carrot family so was mine oh my gosh that's crazy yep which makes me think twice about carrots are we sure they're <laughs> safe because they turn your skin orange <laughs> gotta yeah. be doing something they turn your skin orange if you eat they too do, many if you eat too many carrots it'll turn your skin orange yeah, it's weird. Hmm. It's never happened to me, but do a little googs. Do a little googs. Okay. 
Now let's talk about let's talk about the toxicity of this plant, okay? Oh, the taste the water of your lips, I'm on a run. <laughs> You're toxic, gum. Okay, <gasps> only a very very small amount of this toxic toxic substance in the plant, which is called cicutoxin, is needed to produce poisoning in livestock and humans. Some sources say that mostly. It's mostly poisonous if it's ingested, but you can also be poisoned topically. So like if you brush against it or like rub up against it, I don't know. There's been cases, but when ingested, cicutoxin directly attacks your nervous system, which is so scary to think about. Once a certain amount is ingested, which from what I found, it says it's about 0.5% of your body weight. So hypothetically speaking, if I'm like... 180 pounds <laughs> that's about nine ounces right mathematician yeah sure i don't know <laughs> yeah i think so and it was when you think about nine ounces that's not a lot of eating all. it the weight yeah you not okay that's a not- cup of water is eight ounces right yeah but that's liquid but ounces is ounces Ounces is less than a pound. Okay. Right? 16 ounces is a pound. 16 ounces is a pound, pound, right? So it's half a pound. Yeah. Half a pound. But like, I'm thinking about like a bag of chips. (laughs) It doesn't that say like it's like under. I don't know. Anyway. I I don't know how how many ounces a bag of chips is. Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to get some to find. I don't have any here. But, but anyway, I, okay. I, could, I could take out a bag of chips in one <laughs> sitting. I think that's what you're getting at. <laughs> that's what I'm getting at. I feel like it's not that much. Well, because the story I'm going to talk about includes people forging and like, okay, well, we'll get into it, but I, I can see how this can happen and I can see how 0.9 ounce or nine ounces isn't a lot to ingest. Okay. This toxin causes grand mal seizures and it likely leads to death. Cicutoxin is a highly poisonous, unsaturated alcohol, and it has a strong carrot-like odor. Mm. So if you like carrots, you're going to be like, ooh, yum. Let's let's have a little <laughs> water hemlock. Uh, what's up, doc? Picnic. Yeah. <laughs> the toxin's found mostly in the tubers of the plant, but it's also present in the leaves during the early growth and the stems, but it also has... The green seed heads are poisonous too, which that's how livestock get into get into it because they're eating like Ooh, the seeds. Does off it affect the plant. livestock? Okay, so now Ooh. it does. Yeah, there's stories about it knocking off Ooh. some population. Yeah. Okay, so let's get into the story about someone who unfortunately died due to ingesting water hemlock. Okay. I'm going to read this directly from the CDC. So this is like an article straight from that website. On October 5th, 1992, a 23-year-old man and his 39-year-old brother were forging for wild ginseng in the middle coastal Maine woods. Wait. The younger man... It is literally October 5th. (gasps) Oh, Oh, that's spooky. That's all I'm saying. Spooky. And this was 92. So do the math real quick. 11 years. No. 21 years. 20, 21 what? years. Gosh, yeah, that's that the 31 90s. years, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, thir- that's 31 years. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, Adam's not as good at math as I thought. <laughs> no, it's just a, it's the elder millennial in me that's thinking like the 90s can't be 30 years ago. <laughs> oh, I know. Shit, I know. I Sorry know. to break it to you. Uh, okay. <laughs> Becca's like, what are you guys talking about 11 years? <laughs> Let us live in bliss. Okay. The younger man collected several plants growing in a swampy area, and he took bites from the root of one plant. Okay. Pause for a second, right? You're getting a visual. These guys are forging for... What are they forging for? They're forging for some wild ginseng. They're having a good old time. This is why I don't forge. This is why I don't like <laughs> hike. And I would never this think. This is why I don't go outside. <laughs> yeah. 
like pulling a wild plant out of the ground and just munching down no. on the tubers like it's dinner. I don't get it. Bro, I used I to go it. to town on a mulberry bush. Like I would be like, oh, yeah. And now <sighs> that I'm like an adult and I know that bugs and bird shit exist, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Parasites. That's how you get a parasite. <laughs> okay. Okay. So he took some bites off the root of this one plant. And then his brother took one bite off of that same root plant. Within 30 minutes, the younger man was vomiting and began having convulsions. Oh. Within 30 minutes. That's how fast it was. They walked out of the woods in a panic. And approximately 30 minutes after the younger man became ill, they were able to call for help. Okay, so they're calling the cops on themselves. Within about 15 minutes of the call, the paramedics showed up and they found the younger man unresponsive. And he was like turning like a bluish color. He had mild tachycardia, which is like a very rapid heartbeat, dilated pupils, and profuse salivation. Oh, yeah. He was also having seizures, followed by periods of apnea or like halted breathing. He was then transported to the hospital. Physicians performed gastric lavage and administered activated charcoal to induce vomiting, which is what we talked about last week. He started experiencing venicular fibrillation or like heart rhythms that like humans can't physically handle. Four resuscitative attempts were unsuccessful, and he died approximately three hours after ingesting the root. Oh, my gosh. Wait, but they, three hours only. But they both ate it, right? They both ate it. So he took three bites of the root. The older brother took only one bite. So let's get into him. So although the older brother appeared to be asymptomatic when he arrived at the emergency room, he was still treated with the charcoal to as a preventative measure. And then he began having seizures shortly after that and exhibited delirium for like two hours after eating the root. He was stabilized, transferred to a center for observation, but no additional adverse effects were recorded. So he came out of it essentially okay. That's crazy. Um, The CDC, I know. The CDC also notes that while cicutoxin is present in all parts of the water hemlock plant, the root contains the highest concentration. So they just, you know, they just bit right into that mm. that bad boy, you know, <laughs> most just, most poisonous part of it. It went straight for that tuber. <laughs> yeah. Straight for the tuber. The plant is considered poisonous. Straight, straight for the tuber. What were you going to say? You might have said this already, but I've my internet's been really in and out. But what did they think they were eating? They were forging for wild ginseng. And I didn't research what that looks like or what that like maybe it's in the same family, but it has been documented that most mm-hmm. of the deaths that this plant has caused was because people misidentified it as something else. So don't pull shit out of the ground and eat it. Okay. Okay. Got it. Moral of the story. So the plant is poisonous in all stages of development and it's most toxic in the spring. Spring poisonings typically result from ingestions. However, it can also be absorbed through the skin, which I talked about earlier, which scares me because it's like if you're walking in the forest and you kind of just like brush up against the plant, I'm sure that maybe you'd have to like really rub it in your skin. Look, the skin is our largest organ, right? We were talking about Becca wearing gloves using dead bug brew because like your skin absorbs yeah. chemicals pretty quickly too. And maybe it is just a matter of brushing up against this stuff to cause like maybe not death, but to to definitely have some effects. Um, okay, so the amount of people it's killed the cdc reported that at least 58 people in the united states alone have died after ingesting water hemlock most identifying it as like an edible fruit or a vegetable it's kind of sad so there that's have been many what I cases don't, i don't understand and millionless people are like gardeners and they're like oh this looks very similar to like how a carrot grows because i wouldn't even know how a carrot grew 
But like, mm-hmm. I'm not walking around just yanking plants out of the ground to be like, oh, well, there's a tuber. I can mm-hmm. chew on that. Yeah. Is that, but that's, I'm yeah. guessing that's what foragers do, I guess. They do. It's too risky. They there's do. so much that like looks, and like the copycats, they look almost exactly like the plant you're trying to get. So it's, it's not even worth it to me. Yeah. I know. Yeah. You just got to plant your own garden and only eat from that. Yeah from that you since know? we're all going to be zombies i think this is good information for people to have you know oh true 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 mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. there's been many cases of children using the hollow stems as whistles <gasps> which this is this probably dates back pretty far i couldn't find a date on this so risky but there there have been seven children reported to have died specifically just from using the tubers as whistles and I'm thinking, like, okay, children using them as whistles, like, you got to be pretty bored. You don't got any toys uh, in the house. Okay. As I was just going to say, do you guys remember when you'd pick blades of grass and whistle with them? Oh, true. <laughs> and you just would be like, how bored are you? Yeah, I grew up in a town of a thousand <laughs> people. We didn't have anything. True. True, true. Okay. Sorry. No, you're fine. But, like. But only from, ju- they didn't ingest it. Technically, they just put their lips on it, use it as a whistle. But kids are weird. They, I mean, maybe they took a chunk out, but <laughs> kids are weird. They're just like, <laughs> essentially, that would kind of be like absorption through the skin. I don't know. It's, I didn't, I couldn't find like detailed information on those seven cases, but I found it kind of crazy. If you're one of the lucky ones that, don't lose your life after ingesting this. You're probably still going to experience seizures, other symptoms like muscle twitching, restlessness, and this can like persist for months mm. after. That's pretty scary. Livestock death reports back in 2010 that there were a herd of Hereford cows. Do you know what kind of cows those no. are? I don't know. I didn't look it up. Nine of them out of 81 died up in northwestern utah after ingesting just the seeds from the flowers because they found they found the cattle just like dead on the side of the stream and all the plants there Uh. were water hemlock yeah dang i couldn't find anything on like deforestation of it like people trying to get rid of it but i did find something that said from the CDC, they suggest that if you come across it, you should pull it up by the root and remove it. And I'm like, bitch, I ain't touching that shit. <laughs> Not after you told me I could, <laughs> it could be absorbed through the skin. Like, okay, put a glove on, I guess. But no, I'm not risking that. And that's probably why there's so much of it because people are like, no, mm-hmm. if you know about it, right. you're not touching it. Yeah. It's scary. But a little bit of history, though. You know who died from Ooh. hemlock poisoning? Ooh, are we talking about famous deaths? It's a famous death. Ooh. He's a philosopher. Any guesses? Mm. Where? What, what country is he from? Mm. There's <laughs> a lot of famous philosophers. Uh, Athens. Socrates. Socrates. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, he was, he was forced to drink a poison after being found guilty of corrupting the youth of Athens. <gasps> and people people believe that it was hemlock. Really? I did not know that's how he died. That's some trivia. That's how he died. Yeah, death by poison. Didn't know that that was part of the death penalty back in the early days. Yeah. I mean, it Very still is if you, are, uh, if you are an adversary of Vladimir Putin. Oh, They geez. give you hemlock? No, I mean, it, it, there's just been oh, lots of people poisoned around. Right, right, right. Or their plane just yeah. falls out of the sky. <laughs> but that's my um, that's my story <laughs> on water hemlock. That's your story, and you're sticking to it. What do we think about the serial killer that is war- water hemlock? Water hemlock must be like all over the world. Then it's not just U.S. thing. <laughs> well, it is, but it's primarily found in north america and and canada okay southern canada i believe parts of canada yeah wow i don't know how it got here couldn't find that but yeah it's kind of scary because i swear i've seen this plant Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen that. Or like, there's so many plants that look like that here. Yeah. And like, in my mind, I'm like, oh, Queen Anne lace. But what if it's not? <laughs> yeah, what if it's a poser? <laughs> yeah, because yeah. they look like Queen Anne lace, kind of, or dill. Yes. I couldn't believe how much it looked like dill. And actually, when I was looking at it, I was like, that looks like dill. I thought that dill's leaf or flowers were white. And then I Googled it and I was like, no, they're yellow. They're yellow, yeah. But very similar. Very mm-hmm. similar. Yeah, it's kind of creepy. Oh my gosh. I'm actually surprised there's only 58 documented deaths. Is that like yeah. ever or yeah. the, re- recently? Well, that's a good question. I don't know because the story that I found from the CDC was from the 90s and then the mm-hmm. cow thing was from the 2010s. So maybe they've recently started documenting this. Yeah. You know, maybe it wasn't a thing or people just didn't know back then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, something else that's kind of crazy. I was watching an episode of 2020 the other night. Shocker. And (laughs) I didn't realize that like DNA evidence is not that old. No, it's fairly new. Yeah. Like 80s or something. Mm -hmm. Right. And I was like, holy shit, that's why all these seven these like serial killers in the seventies got away with this shit. Yeah. For a yeah. long time. Until they didn't. Yeah. So it it's like fingerprints and stuff like that. And hair, right? Is that like hair, the DNA? Blood. Stuff? Uh okay. Yeah. Semen. Semen. Ew. I had to say yeah. <laughs> Semen. You're right though. That is that is a very incriminating liquid. <laughs> 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 They'll get you. Uh, I was reading a, a Reddit story of an Am I the Asshole story, and the, she basically said that her husband leaves it on the shower walls, and she asks him to clean it up, and he gets all embarrassed. And she's like, uh, no need to be embarrassed. Just clean it off. What the fuck? I just don't. <laughs> I just... What? Anyway, I would divorce that's gross. him. Yeah, Nicole would be gone. That's grounds for a divorce. I <laughs> apologize. Walk out the door. Just turn around now. You're not welcome anymore. Because she's cleaning it. Yeah. Then. <laughs> no. We already clean up enough and of that stuff. disgust on Nicole's face. Absolutely not. I no. feel like I have seen Hemlock in like Outlander or something. Like... Oh, I've maybe. heard of hemlock like before, but never like water hemlock. So then I'm like, is it the same thing or is there like a. Yeah, there's different there's different kinds, but I believe they're all poisonous. Really? There's another one called. I won't be trying my luck. Well, there's another one called poisonous hemlock, which is different than water hemlock, but it's still poisonous, obviously. Hence mm-hmm. the name. It's a crazy one, you guys. It's just a wild, wild plant it'll kill you so dang i'm curious to know if any of you guys who are listening know any more about this plant possibly know have you seen it have you touched it okay but like here here's my question have you ever seen the tv show naked and afraid yes i have not i think it's the dumbest show okay well speak for yourself i think it's pretty fun sorry uh (laughs) but My question is, like, some of those people have, like, studied or, like, they're interested in survivalist things, you know? Mm -hmm. But they're always dropped off in, like, a foreign country. Do people, are there people there that are, are like, oh, don't let them touch that, that one's poisonous? Because there's poisonous plants everywhere. There's plants that will kill you everywhere. So, like... Is someone behind the scenes being like, uh, steer clear of this plant? Mm. I would hope so, but then what's the point? Because aren't they supposed to survive in the forest on their own? But it's also just like a huge liability if they die. Yeah. What a bummer episode. Is Survivor the same thing? Was Survivor like reality? Yeah. Survivor's reality, but they let him get pretty skinny, like... Yeah, they do get pretty emaciated. they're They're signing some hefty waivers. They have to be. Yeah. I don't know. That show just free. Who? How much money do you win if you make it out? I don't know. I think a million. 
Oh wait, that's not not, enough. not naked and afraid. Sorry, I'm talking about Survivor. Yeah, um, I don't know, but with, with naked and afraid. No, you're not okay. For one, you're not putting me anywhere naked. <laughs> <laughs> Two, a forest. And no, no, the mosquitoes would kill me alone. Oh gosh, yeah. yeah. And then three, recording me? Absolutely <laughs> not for any amount of money. No, yeah. thank you. Okay, I learned this fact about mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are like the deadliest creature on planet Earth. Did you know that? I had a session three days ago, October. I have 10 mosquito bites on my leg from being outside for five minutes, and it was mm -hmm. October. I don't even understand. Like, they're all over my legs. Yeah. I was like, I think it might have been the same mosquito just, like, jumping around, oh having a gosh. feast. The only good thing about mosquitoes is they fly so slowly, so they're really easy to kill. But I had a bunch in my house because I left the door open because I was doing the thrips thing. Mistake. Mm. I'll never admit that to Daniel. But yeah. <laughs> He'd be so well, you mad just at did. me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's watching. <laughs> yeah they're the deadliest i think they're responsible they're they're like the it's not an animal but you know like the thing that is liable for the most most human deaths or something i don't remember really well they carry a lot of diseases lots yeah, of diseases well, you think like zika and malaria yeah those are big ones yeah those are big ones yeah scary ones wow thank you nicole yeah that was great yeah Thank you. I'm really interested to see what Adams is going to be. Do wait. I think I already know what yours is, but I forgot. So yeah, this mine's will be fun. but mine's along the same things as like foraging. Like so, I think there's a there's a theme here in the fact of like if you're gonna be a forager, you better know don't. what you're doing. Just kidding. You got to know what <laughs> you're don't. doing. Yeah, you can't just raw dog it out in the wilderness and just stuff whatever in your mouth. It's just that's not how it works. No. And like, I remember somebody telling me this at a wedding, some employee somewhere, I think it was at the farm that they like, when they were little, cause they lived in the area that they would just go on the side of the road and like pick the green beans or something. And I'm like, what? Like, no, I get the mushroom thing. Cause that could be cool. Like if you're like looking for different mushrooms or Mm. they're very distinct like you could probably tell different mushrooms apart Ugh. but you have to be careful for that too because it's fungi and it's some yeah. of them you can't eat there's some look-alikes like for the morel, morel mushrooms yeah. there's yes. a look-alike for that one see it's so a dupe scary yeah i just no we we do have a tree a couple trees on our property that made little berries and like Dan and I were walking around one day and he just like picked one off the tree and ate it. And I was like, <gasps> what are you doing? And he's like, oh, it's it's fine. Like, whatever. And then I tried it and it was really good. But like, I wouldn't have known that that was OK Ugh. at all. See, it's fine till it's not. And some of these, like some of the deadly plants that I've been looking up have berries that look very edible. Yeah. Mm. And like, that's the same way when I was younger. I didn't know that the berries on that tree that was in my backyard were like safe to eat but i was plucking those off and eating them and yeah, it was like the yeah. purple and red i think it's mulberry yeah or mm -hmm. something but like i didn't even give it a second thought and i didn't have a parent next to me that was like yeah you can eat that you know i was just doing mm -hmm. it i just went out there i was like yeah. that looks yummy pop threw it in my mouth yep got lucky yeah you're still doing that aren't you <laughs> still Very putting Midwest. berries and cream <laughs> berries and cream i'm a little lad who loves berries and cream Oh my god okay very yeah mm. uh. <laughs> cool well i'm excited for next week and yeah very spooky nicole i know it was spooky i was kind of excited i got a serial killer not gonna lie <laughs> but uh okay guys water well, comes across in a toxicology report oh Ooh. do you guys watch Ginny and georgia no no Oh, okay. Never mind. Those that know, though, out there that watch Ginny and Georgia, she poisons her husband with a plant. And I can't remember what flower it is. Shoot. But it's giving that. It's giving that. Okay. Mm. It's giving that. 
anyway. Okay. Well, I really hope you guys liked this episode. If you did head on over and leave us a spooky review, that's only five stars. (laughs) And, (laughs) uh, be sure to follow us over on Instagram at Potted Together and leave us a comment if you know more about Water Hemlock because I'm genuinely curious because this is fascinating to me. And then you can also follow us over on our individual socials. Adam's at Not Dude, K-N-O-T. Becca is at De La Plants and I'm at My Clean Leaves. And then we have a little snippet before we started recording this episode, we record a Patreon episode. So head on over to our Patreon if you want to hear more from today's, not this episode specifically, like about water hemlock, but just us shit talking yeah. for 30 minutes straight, pretty much. Random, <laughs> random, random thoughts. It was very random today. And that's it, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. 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 most wonderful time of the year, Christmas. And what better way to get into the holiday spirit than with a Minky Couture blanket? Whether you're gathered around the tree with loved ones, roasting marshmallows by the fire, or just looking for a cozy way to stay warm on a chilly night, Minky blankets are the perfect addition to your Christmas festivities. With a wide range of festive designs and colors, you can find the perfect blanket to match your holiday decor or gift to your loved ones. So this Christmas, make your holiday even cozier with a Minky Couture blanket. Head to MinkyCouture.com now and find your perfect blanket just in time for the holiday. Happy holidays from Minky Couture.